All right, this is a CBT guitar lesson for Todd on ZZ Top, Rough Boy, and Standard Tuning. A particular cover version that you wanted. Eight pages. It's a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, but it's all solo with a little bit of chord in it. Um, standard tuning on this. I went ahead and used this guitar because there's some whammy bar parts in here that I want to show you. I don't know if you have a whammy bar, but may as well uh, show it how they're doing it. So let me play a little bit through on section 1A here that comes in on six seconds. It goes... And then we have Okay, so let's break this down. Section 1A, six seconds in, you're going to go 4G. A lot, like I said, a lot of solos. You're really going to need the tabs. Tabs don't give you the counts. Now, I use symbols that will tell you it's ringing out a little bit or it's a break, but um, you really got to use the ear along with the tabs and your video, okay? Um, so some of this, I'm just going to kind of play through slow for you and, and use your tabs and break it down into small pieces and then build on that like a puzzle. 4G slide to 6, and then rest, that will see your line in the tabs. 5B, 6G slide to 4 vibrato. And now if you can't vibrato, that's fine. Those are all icing things that eventually you'll, you'll be able to get, okay? And then palm mute 2G, and then 4 slide 6 on the G to 5B, and they ring together. You'll see a darkened line above that. And then 6, slide 4 on the G vibrato. Then, pinch harmonic 4G, slide to 6. It's kind of the same melody. He goes... And then 18 seconds in, section 1B. Kind of the same melody, but he dropped it an octave lower. And that's 2nd uh, fret A, slide to 4. 2D, 2A vibrato. Palm mute open A, and then 2 slide 4, just kind of repeating that. Um, and then 2D, 4A slide 2. So that section 1B goes. Usually, Todd, on, when, you, when you end a phrase or a note and it's ringing, I'd say 75% of the time there's a little vibrato on it, okay? But that's it's not a game breaker if you're not filling that in. It's just like a pinch harmonic. If you miss it or if you don't put it, it's not going to be a huge deal. They're all icing, but I wanted to get what he was doing on those. And you'll see double dots. That's going to mean two times or however many times I mark at the end of those dots. You have the beginning and the end, everything within it, okay? Um, then the next part we're going to do is 30 seconds in. Pinch harmonic 4A, bend it a half step. Now that's a one fret. You're bending this to this. It's a C sharp to a D note. It goes. And then palm mute 4, and then hit 2 vibrato. Jumps up an octave. 6G, half step, pinch harmonic, bend. And then half step, bend, release. 4G, and then this part I really like. Kind of rake over the strings. Ninth fret, bar D, G, and B. But put your middle on 10B and go. Then 12-9 on the B string vibrato. Two times. Section 1C, 42 seconds in. This is the only part, I think, where there's a chord breakdown. It's an A major, 7-6-5 DGB, and then 6-4-5 DGB. Oh, wait, let's try that again. Palm mute 7 D and repeat it. 5 hammer 7 B. And then 5 A slide to 9. And then just kind of bar it down. 9 D G B. So from the 5 A slide up, it's. 
And then you palm each the 9, 9A. And then bar the 9, D, G, and B. Doing a hammer on chord. So as you strum 9, D, G, B, you're going to hammer to 10B and 11D. If you've never done multiple hammers, it can be tricky. Uh, you can try doing one at a time. Uh, and then do them both. Okay? Um, and then ninth fret barred. Okay, top of page three. And you got reverb and delay in here primarily. 54 seconds in, 2A, 4D, 4G, 4D. It's a chord. It's a B2. As a matter of fact, bar, he does something different with it, but you can actually bar all the way down with that index. And uh, the same notes, it would sound the same. You're going to hit them in that order, palm muted. And then B, G, D, G, no palm mute. Sounds like this. Again. And then, on your way up, yeah. All the way up to the A on that second one. That's what he does. And he drops the finger down. Um, open E twice, palm mute the second one. And then two slide 4G, and then hit the open E. 4G slide to two, pull off to one, hammer two, pull one. Sounds like this. 2D vibrato at the end. Section 1D, a minute 5 in, back to the two chords we did earlier. And then 7th fret D, and slide it. And then a minute 10, now I'm just going to kind of run through these because there's so many of them. Um, I'm going to run through these little licks that he's playing slow. And you'll go. Let's see what you got. Ten B to uh, twelve B. You're gonna bend that. Bend release. Then we have pick hammer pull. Ten twelve ten on the B slide. Back to this ninth fret A through B barred. Kind of rake strum it and hammer to ten B. Nine hammer eleven G. Vibrato, pull up to nine and we have. This again. Then you'll see a down up I wrote. He's not going down up, but I notated that so you know that you gotta double time the picking. You gotta pick faster. In other words, watch, we'll go. And then open E, palm mute, down, down, up. Two slide four G, hold it as you add the four E. Vibrato, four slide seven, and add the seven on the high E, and then hit the seven G. After that, we go over to page four, and you're gonna slide from the seven up to nine. Oops. And back to the nine on the G, slide to 12. So that'll sound like this. You'll have. And then 12 side to 14. And then 14 side to 16. So you have this. It's kind of Joe Satriani ish a little bit there. My, my wife noticed that one. Um, repeats at 130, section 1A, no star. A minute 42, section 2A, back to the two chords. Two times. Jump up to nine on the A, and this is part of a chord, so I do want to explain this. Nine A, short rest, eleven D G, and bar that ninth fret down, and then hit the nine B hammer ten. Sounds like this. Do that again. Then you're gonna go the hammer on chord again. Minute fifty four. Four times. 
and then you do a natural harmonics, light pressure above the 12th fret, actual fret wire there. You should hear two notes on that. So, and then two minutes and one second in, we're gonna go. Then you go. Repeats at 206, section 1A, no star. After that, we have top of page five. Minute 26 in, we're gonna go, he does a slide, basically fret two up to approximately 17. He's going for more of the effect of that slide though. I don't even know if you're gonna want that in there, but he does it. Uh, but that leads into these natural harmonics again on the low E, it's 12, seven, five, four, three, two. And then we're gonna whammy bar. Remember I mentioned there's some whammy in this, so here's what we're looking at. Twelve seven five four three two. So twelve seven five four three two. Oops. All right. Then I wrote solo two eighteen. He uses the neck pickup. So I'm gonna go up to this pickup. If you have the three way switch, it's the upper on that. You don't have to do it, but he did that. It's a bassier tone. And just gonna kind of play these riffs um, a little slower for you to follow. Timestamp 9D for our start. Seventh fret on the G string. We're gonna uh, palm mute it three times, and then six, and then seven. All that's palm muted. Let's do that again. Yeah. stuff there. So you see the W with the arrow down? They call that a dive bomb. All right, then section 2B, two minutes and 45 seconds in, we're back to the chords that we're using. This one here. Two times. And then the little fills are top of page six. Two minutes and 52 seconds in, the barred ninth fret A, D, G, B. Gonna rake that hammer to 10 B. Actually, we'll go 11, pull nine, nine, five, seven, seven, hammer nine, so. 257, repeat section one D from the minute 18 marker, no star. After that though, you got this. Second fret, and you're gonna hold it as a chord. G, E, G, pull off to the first fret. And then we have. Yeah. 309, section 1A, no star, followed by this. <clears throat> 2A, slide four. Here we go. 18, we have open E with some harmonics again. Now you're gonna go 12, seven, five, seven. So we got, then we have five, four, three. So, and then he finishes it with four A, five D. And you're gonna dive on that. Those harmonics can be tricky um, depending on your pickups. Hopefully you have a double coil pickup because single coils are gonna make them a little trickier. All right, after that, um, 321, we're gonna do this. 12th fret B, bend vibrato. And then we have, do that again. Oh wait. Okay, the next 
next little one starts on 7B. And then 16 high E, half step, bend, hold, release, pull up to 14. 12th fret, kind of rake over those B and E. Top of page 7, 14 E, pull 12. Three thirty-three timestamp seven on the D string, slide into nine. Next line down, nine G and B. I want to explain something. You'll see the arrow up on the twelve B, and you'll see a line going over and dropping. It's a pre-bend release pull off to the tenth fret. You got to go. Okay. 338, 14th fret high E, bend, release, pull off to 12. Fret on the side. And then we're gonna go to the next line down. 10, pull 9 on the high E. We do that again. Oops. Then you have this little run. 12 on the E, you're gonna Pull off, pick, pull to 10, pull to 9. So. Three forty-five pinch harmonic 7G, bend. Okay, next one, 9G, you're gonna do pick, Half step, bend, release, pull off to seven, slide to five. Sounds like this. Pull off seven, start to five. And then seven A, slide five, pull three. Three, slide to uh, nine, pull to open. So it's some of this stuff passes so fast, uh, but you can slow it down um, if you're having trouble hearing some of the notes in there. Last page, page 8, 356 timestamp. More of the harmonics we were using earlier. And it's 12.75 on the E. And then uh, 5 D and G. So. G, bend release. It's a cool little run there. You go, uh, four oh four time stamp starting on nine G. You'll go. Pinch harmonic three. My string's a little low, but if you don't get catch the pinch, it's not a big deal. Okay, 408 timestamp, section 1A, no star, but at 413, you've got this little riff, uh, 5B, 4G, 5B, 7E, 5B, sounds like this. And then we got this, 4 slide 6, G. With. It's fading out in here, by the way. All right. Um, fun one, very melodic. I think I've heard this years back. I'm not sure if it's the same one, but it was a, it was an instrumental cover, and I remember liking the, how melodic it was um, and solo through all of it. So, awesome. Appreciate you. Let me know if there's anything else you want, and uh, talk to you soon.